Hey, everybody. It's cold, okay? It's minus 15. Uh, it's cold. I have the oven on, and I got the heat on as far as it can go, all right? And it's still cold. But, um, I thank God to see another day. Let me tell you something. I'm sick of this cold. <laughs> Tired of the snow. This is said every year. Uh, since I was grown, so I used to love the snow. And when I was a kid, we used to play in the snow, wrestle in the snow. I don't like it now. Okay? So, anyway. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do a video today. This is going to be a short one. Because I have some other things I have to do. Too. Um, yesterday, I thought I was going to have to go and um, set up my collection here. And some other art pieces out of my inventory. But it was too cold. So... They went on and um, extended it to Saturday, so I have to be there. And then after that, I got to leave right out because I have a prior engagement at 1. So I have to honor that. Now, I said that, um, let me turn this around here. Let's see if you all can see this. Not going to see me too much, and that's okay. I want you to see the work. So, I'm going to do it like, let me pull this, Let's see, I think this is good right here. What up, Jerry? What's up, cuz? How y'all doing today? So, in this cold weather, all right, so here is the work here. I said yesterday that you can pull this out after 24 hours. It's still not going to be completely Cure, but it, you can take it out of its uh, mode, all right, which is um, which is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to put some parchment paper down just to protect it. Uh, I don't need these, need these right now because I'm not doing any pouring. No um, resin. Where's my paper? Okay. Parchment paper. All right. Now, I use parchment paper, parchment paper, or you can use wax paper. But I like the parchment paper because nothing sticks to it. Okay, I can't even stick it, <laughs> tape it. Um, but I do fold it up and I just like, just like to use it. So, here we go. Remember what I did yesterday. So, this is, is one, it's two, four, it's six pieces to this box. So, I'm taking this off. You can see that. Oh, good. I'm like a, let me see. And just a little tiny piece of sanding down just to smooth it out. Well, I did pretty good. Look at that. See? Part of the box. All right. Put this on that parchment paper. Let's do this one. You'll see how easy it comes out. Now, this was with the... Let me put my plugs in. Hold on. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Let me see. Oh, it's kind of hard enough. All right, this is with extreme resin, okay? Maybe because it's cold, because the temperature plays a lot in the curing time as well. You know, it's kind of cool in this room. So, I just had to put a blanket a blanket on the edge of the um, window. That cold is coming in. Because I told you this is my work room. Let me show you if I can. This is my work room. And I just turn around to the other table. This is my reading area. This is my praying area. See all that? And I also can use that area for my... Um, 
sketchbook if I have some designs I want to sketch out and I will do it over here. But this is mostly my reading and my praying area. I see I got my prayer cloth over there. So yeah. And I turn right back around and it's over here. And of course you see I got my inventory right over here all the way up. Alright. So yeah this little bedroom I, and then I got my closet over there. That's my clock behind there on my clothes. So, yeah, this is a multi purpose room. Uh, and I thank God I make it work until God blesses me with my own brick and mortar workshop. That would be strictly for workshops and doing my artwork and teaching. So, anyway, that's another piece I got that off. So, you see it clean, so if you have little pieces of resin, you just pop it off. It'll come right off without a problem. All right. So, and later on, I'll wipe it down, you know, with the 91% uh, percent alcohol just to keep it clean and then store it back up. So right now, I can just put these out the way for now. All right. Here's a bigger piece. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, I like. I like, I like. Alright. Look. Now remember, I'm doing this for the dominoes. The dominoes have already been given. And now, I just had to redo the box. And that was my fault with that box. It happens, even with painting and drawing, you know what I mean? But some mistakes can be masterpieces. Uh, the creator will know, but the uh, the audience wouldn't, won't know. So here's the other. But these, you can, you make a mistake with this, it's done. Here, ain't no fixing it. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what happens, what's going on here. So why is that just showing a bit? Let's see what's going on with that. Let me see. Sometimes you might have a piece, a uh, uh, section, and it happens. And it might be just because of a little uh, piece of the paste or powder that didn't completely mix in so this is okay let's wipe that off all right that's cool Ooh, key. see that so when i put the box together i have a decision i can either make okay i'll wipe that again later just to wipe it off i can either make this the outside the really shiny part see that or i can make this the outside or the inside just a little dull but this is shinier so I don't know and once I do it put it together you know um, this is the top okay this is the bottom and once I do do that uh, put it together on whatever side I'm gonna put it in I can't reverse it because it, it'll be uh, glued on and that'll be the end of that so we'll see how that what work how it works I like the fact that you can use either side so he's here are the sides of the box okay see that really, that's really pretty okay let me hurry up because I didn't want to stay on here long today so I have other things I have to do too and here's the other one well, I can actually put it together, but it's really hard. And I don't have that much of sanding I need to do either, which is a blessing. Good. All right. Just made this a little bit, because I feel a little roughness here. And my little sanding tool is right there, so. It's, it looks like a sponge. This here. Okay. And it'll just... And you don't have to do it long because this is coarse. I think I have the coarse one. I have two of them. This is the replacement. 
So this one is fine and medium. So this one is kind of coarse. So I don't have to take a long time. Oh, <laughs> see, that's smooth. Well, I wish you could feel that. But anyway, that smoothed it out real good. Just within that, what, not even a minute. Okay. All right. So I have that. So I think I'm going to just set it up together just to see how it looks. <sighs> oh, yeah. The eyelash case. I kept saying eyeglass case. And I thought about it. I said, maybe I should get an eye eyeglass case mode for sunglasses, for glasses. I don't know. Just a thought. All right. This is the top. Oh, that came out pretty good. See? This was the overage I had. So I had to do something with the, with the overage that I had. And I do know that it takes 20 ounces to make that box. Just like it takes 20 to 22 ounces for the hand. Okay. And shout out to my uh, cousin, Maurice. I talked to him last night. Him and his wife, Louise, they're interested in the collection too. So that collection will be on display at the ID. ES building on Saturday and it starts on March 3rd until March so I can make them another one um, but that that one will be on display and I uh, think sister Vivian she'll let me know about the box and the dominoes so anyway this is the top to the eyelash case so see so let me take this out They don't want to come out. Ah. Okay, see? I don't know how to store eyelashes because I don't wear them. But this is the bottom. And let me see. And it came out pretty even. Because I told you sometimes with the molds, the molds won't be that, won't be as even. And you have to sand it down a bit. So this one out. I have my sheet and I'll just rub this across. Well, no, I won't because I don't want this to, I don't want to dug inside. So I'll just go over that. Let me see. I get on some more paint clothes, by the way. It doesn't take too much swipes for this to kind of smooth it. I'm going to just clean it off with the rub and alcohol. Okay. These edges. So this is the top. Okay now. Is it, is it going to close all the way? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, there we go. So, eyelash storage case okay that's cute all right so that's that i don't have to do anything with this but go over the edges and just wipe it down with the rubbing alcohol after uh i smooth it down a bit yeah that's it with this and I didn't make a bunch of these I think I made some before but I, I didn't think I liked the way it came out so I didn't do anything with those I don't think so there we go hmm. all right yay put that back so remember I was telling you too that I Turn the cups upside down here. See? So I can put this back over here. I can actually put this up in this storage. So I am going to have to clean my mat uh, later. But I just wanted to show you what I. 
the uh, cups here. And I turned them upside down. Let me see if I can, if you can see it better that way. I don't know. Let's see. Let me just out away for a moment, momentarily. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, those. So, I just take them. See. So I'm going to just peel them all off the mat. You can see. Darn it. I don't know. I'm going to have to set this up so where you can just see right down here. So. I'll figure that out. But anyway, just pull them off the mat. I think you saw me do that. But this came, this one came right off. And so will this one. See? It just come right off the mat. See? I just wanted to show you <laughs> some artists get a satisfaction out of peeling off the skins of the of the resin and you can actually make an art piece out of the out of the resin skins just like you could do the acrylic skins and it was a artist I didn't get a chance to see his work uh, some years back him and his wife had a exhibit with he was doing something with the acrylic skin from all the acrylic pores. And but I didn't get a chance to go and see it. So and I forgot his name. I met him in one of when I was taking entrepreneurship classes. Uh I think it was with Springboard for the Arts. And I met him there. So anyway. So now you see this? You hear that? And you just this one makes it easy for me because I can turn it upside down instead of me having to dig from the bottom, it all comes at the top, and I can just crack that and pull this out. See, there's still some at the bottom, but I'll be able to get that as well. There we go. See? That's it. So that's going to be the end of this video for now. Because uh, I got a lot more other things to do. And I think tomorrow I will show you me. I already showed you the prep work I did on the back of the canvas. The 8 by 10 So then, yeah, I haven't... Um, I got the colors. So I think I might show it tomorrow or might not if not then I probably won't be back on until uh, Tuesday because um, I got a lot of reading to do studying and then Saturday I have to go and uh, just set up my display out and that's it Sunday I'll be at church and I forgot, oh yeah, Monday I'll be in class. So, um, I probably won't be back on until Tuesday. If not, I'll just get on like I just did, because I wasn't sure I was going to be on today. But, just just to show you how it came out. Oh, wait a minute. Before I let you go, let me, let me see. Let me set this up for just a moment. And let me see how this works. The box that is. So yeah, I probably I might be on briefly tomorrow, so you can see the box again. So let me I'm gonna keep it on the parchment paper just to um, protect it. So I really like this side. I like this side too. So we'll see. I can always look to see how it looks. So let's say let's say I'm gonna do it on the other side. So that means that all the other pieces I have to do it on this side as well. No, yeah. If that's if this if this is gonna be the outer side, then this will be the inner side. Well, so we're gonna see if that works. If not, I have to do it the other way. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay. Do I have to do a little sanding? I don't think so. But I might. Well, it might not fit the way. I might have to do it the other way. No problem, Mo. And that looks like that's what it's going to have to be. Let's try it on this side. Let's see. Oh, well, it fit on that side now. How about that? Okay. And I, I'm just setting it up for now just to see how it looks. I'm not gluing anything yet. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. I'm like, wait a minute. It's not fitting. use the other side if it fits better let me use the other one and see if the other one fits better so then I won't be able to choose whatever side I want I have to use the side so I'm not gonna force it because of the mistake I made with the first box that I did that I showed you so it don't look like it's going to fit like that. So I have to use the other side. So this is not going to cooperate. And I am not going to force it. I just said I wasn't going to force it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Don't look like it's going to fit like that. So I have to do the other side. Alright. So yep, that's what it looks like. And so I got to turn everything around. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. <laughs> Fit like a glove. Okay. Okay. Ugh, from South Park. My dad used to love watching South Park. So I look like I am going to have to do a little sanding. Maybe that's not the side it goes on. Let's see. Oh, I love this. So pretty. It looks nice. Okay. Hmm. I am going to do that. Do a little sanding. To get this to fit. This is a little bit too thick on this side. That's all right. Shouldn't be. Why is it the other way now? But anyway, see it fits on this one just fine. What the heck? Don't sweat the small things. Just do it. So right now, I know I have to sand it down a little bit to get it to fit directly in this slot. Well, oh, okay, well, there it is. Maybe I don't have to. It's just a matter of working it out. So I just want to see. And I will do a little sanding, just a little bit, so that it can fit in there smoothly. So I can uh, glue it down. Yeah, all right, so it's not fitting in there. It's kind of rough right now, but it is, you know, it is hard enough to put together and it's not bending. So, nope. Yeah, so I am going to have to sand a little, just a bit, so they can, they can sit, sit in this slot smoothly, okay? All right. So that's what I'll do later on. So I can just set these, stack them up like that, and I'm done with this.
the eyelash case. Okay. And I can even I even have um lettering. I can put letters on lettering on here. You know, somebody's name or something. Or somebody's initial. Okay. So yeah. I can do that for the box too. Okay. So that's it. Fold that over to protect it. And the reason why I didn't have to worry about um, protecting it yesterday is because the window wasn't open. Because when it's warm outside and the window is open, then yeah, I protect my artwork um, as it's doing doing its curing time. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. I'm gonna get to cleaning up my little area. And sand it down so that it can fit smoothly um, in its pockets, in its slots, and uh, then so um, glue it. And I'll be done with it. And I can go ahead and give that out so that the person mm -hmm. can add their dominoes to it, the box. All right. So don't sweat the small things. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to others. Alright. Uh, put God in everything that you do. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm gone for today. Have a blessed week. Peace.